Welcome to the Dave Factor. I'm Dave, and we're playing The Suicide of Rachel Foster. Uh, it's a game I know nothing about. I haven't watched any videos. It came highly recommended on my Steam store, so I'm going to give it a try. I gathered that it's an in investigation, kind of drama, horror sort of game. Um, but it's a short game. It's about three hours long, from what I understand. Uh, so this is a completely blind playthrough. I don't know what I'm walking into. I might lower the settings so I don't lose my frames. Whoa, you can see how it changes in the background. Okay, we'll try high. And go from there. The story you are about to live is shaped by its details. Observing everything with care will lead you to the truth. My dear Nicole. What button do I press? Do I click? Faced with the dragon, one must brandish sword and shield. Sometimes one has to know when to kneel before the dragon. That's not what the note says. It says, you are the daughter every mother dreams of. Beautiful, smart, and fair. We've been through a lot, and I know things haven't always been easy. But remember what Dr. Franklin said after your speech at high school graduation. I've always thought of you as a fighter who faced with the toughest challenges is capable of brandishing all the weapons necessary to fight courageously and heroically. We never talked about what happened with your father. But now I need to tell you a few things before this illness separates us. So her father's name was Leonard. Gathered that from the cross, stout name. Okay. Is this a top down game? Am I moving? I am moving. Okay. How does this work? I'm just pushing my umbrella through. The affair your father had with that young woman nine years ago and her ensuing suicide broke our family apart forever. I imagine exactly what was going through your head in that moment. My father no longer exists for me. I can only trust my mother. That your father had irreparably betrayed our trust and that she had done the right thing by throwing herself off that cliff. I was there. I've always been there. When you dislocated your shoulder at the first game, when you sobbed at night in a room you didn't recognize, and when you kissed Duncan Forbes under the Christmas mistletoe in 1985, you marched against abortion in your first year at college. Okay. Duncan was a good kid, but even if I've never said so before, I immediately thought you wouldn't have a lot to talk about. Talking is the foundation for every relationship. If you don't talk, you drift apart. There is so much to say when you don't have a lot of time to say it. First of all, I'm sorry. Okay, first of all, I'm sorry. So I'm guessing that these lines in the quotations are probably her thoughts or the character's thoughts. Oh, here we go. Walking through the rain. I never thought rage was an emotion worthy of a good Christian, but I used it. I used it to endure pain. I don't want you to live your life like I have, my love. I want you to be free from the past once and for all. That is why I want you to do exactly as I say. Sell our hotel. The hotel is my family's and you're entitled to it. Go back there, Nicole. I've hired a lawyer in Helena. Montana? Okay. Oh, it's just uncanny. I, I live in Montana, so... Alright. Uh, Mr. Jenkins. 
I've hired a lawyer in Helena, Mr. Jenkins, to give you this letter once your father has passed away. I will already be gone long. Take a quick inspection. Sign the papers and sell those walls that hold nothing but rage. Keep what you need to pay off your university loans and give the rest to the girl's family. Let's end this story once and for all. We've always been there for each other. I wish I could still be there at your graduation, your wedding, my grandchildren's birth. But that's it. We don't know how much time we have. Use yours to love. There's nothing else worth living for, fighting for, or dying for. Believe me, I love you above all else. Your mother, June 24th, 1991. It's okay. So her mom got some terminal disease and told her to sell the hotel in Helena, Montana? I wonder if the butterfly represents the butterfly effect. Helena <laughs> National Forest, Montana, U.S., December 1993. The bad weather crossing Montana is amassing all the characteristics of an atypical storm. The bad turn is proving worse than expected, with above average winds and snowfall especially forecast for Helena National Forest Natural Reserve. The National Weather Service warns residents to follow all instructions given by local authorities and to avoid all unnecessary travel. Some concerned meteorologists are comparing it to the storm that hit Billings in 1955, with 42 inches of snow falling over a single night. Are we heading into the mother of all winners in Lewis and Clout County? Timberline. Hello from Montana. Okay. Old nails, old keys. Pictures from the 60s. Sorry, I got a bit of a cold. My car. The smell. It's all I remember from the night we departed ten years ago. Okay. Timberline must be the name of the hotel. Right, Leonard's motorbike. Leonard was her dad. Okay. The attorney said to check the office first. It should be just beyond the Mountain Museum at the end of the stairs to the main floor, if I remember right. Right, so I can't just open any door. Good news. Figured out the run button. Hello? Press to zoom. Okay. Can I answer it? Nine one one emergency. How can I help you? What's your emergency? Hello? Can you hear me? What's your emergency? Wait, so the phone Mr. called 911? Hi, it's Paulie from Century Telephone Company. I'm sorry to bother you, but as I told you last time, the company requires cutting off the telephone service to delinquent customers. I... I'm really sorry, Leonard, but my hands are tied. We have to go ahead. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, Nicole, it's Jenkins, the attorney. 
The hotel chain that wants to take over your hotel has just dumped a mammoth holy bible of documents on my desk that I need to check through. I have to personally go to the county land registry office before we meet. Listen, I know you didn't want to go to your father's funeral, but now the hotel is entirely your property. The law requires you to assess its condition before putting it on the market. Uh, it's, uh, very noble of your mother to want to repay that poor girl's family, Rachel. Not everyone would deprive themselves of such a sum. Anyway, it's up to you now. Get to it. I'll bring you a burger you Portland folks can only dream of. Oh, I, I left you some notes and a master key on the dining room table of your family's old apartment. Start your rounds from there. Give me a couple of hours. Don't run off, all right? Okay. Master suite. There's we should the have hired suite. a decent attorney from Portland, Mom, not this potato head. Come on, let's do this. This is the basement. Yeah, I am going to lower the graphics a bit. Okay. We are in the offices, so... Right. So we went from the garage, past the boiler room, up the stairs. Oh, okay. So, fire pit. Where's the museum? Where did we come out? Oh, okay. Looks like we could go through the dining room and up the stairs to the master suite. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. Need to get the key. Dining room. Place where we eat foods. Or should we just... Do Some paintings are missing. I wonder if he was selling the painting. No, we can't go through. He might have been selling stuff off to pay the bills because he wasn't getting any customers. I'm listening. Master Suite. I figure that it's a hotel, so it would have things labeled. Okay. These must be the documents. Nicole Wilson from Portland, Oregon. Okay, so he died, and in his last will and testament, left all of his debts and problems to us. Understanding mathematics. I'm not, it's not I'm so smart, it's just that I stay with problems longer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not getting much when I pick up the cigarettes and glasses and pens, though. Okay. This calculations. Light bulb flux. Right. Where's this key at? Do I need matches? Can I just take matches with me just in case? What if a storm knocks out the power? Was it in my room? The management key is just somewhere in Master Suite. Polaroid, camera. Okay. God, 
Everything's here exactly the same as when me and Mom left ten years ago. It's so... <sighs> Doesn't matter. Quick tour, nothing more, Nicole. Victims in the last three days. The snow plows are ready, but we're waiting for the intensity of the snowfall to... There will be possible blackouts in the more isolated areas. Make sure your generators are in good condition for stockpiles of fuel. Instructions to refrain from going outside unless isolated or to return at home. This is the manager's key my mom wouldn't give me when I was little. Huh. I'll need a master key for the guest rooms, though. Okay. Strange telephone. Oh, well, that's already suspicious. Aki, okay. Strange implies it's not supposed to be there. What am I supposed to do with the management key? Okay. Oh, strange phone? Is that the strange phone? What is this, a joke? Hello? Can you hear me? Is this Miss McGrath? Wilson. McGrath was my father's. Uh, uh this is, um, uh, Helena Federal Emergency Management Agency. Uh, my name is, uh, Irving Crawford. Uh, uh, Mr. Jenkins told me you'd be arriving. Uh, Mr. Jenkins is a very enterprising man. Oh, uh, I, I guess so. I, I wouldn't know. I'm kidding. Oh, uh, right. Any reason for your call, Irving, from Federal... Whatchamacallit? FEMA. I'm calling to assist you during your stay at the hotel. What? Uh, the Timberline is old but sturdy. You'll enjoy your stay and be safe, no problem. Uh, the furnace, wiring, it's all under control. Oh, okay, enough. What? I don't know what Jenkins told you, but I have zero intention of staying here longer than, let's say, 20 minutes. Oh. But... But the storm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving straight away. <laughs> Maybe you're not aware. Th Thanks for everything. Irving, right? Irving. Yeah. Uh, I. You. Uh Bye. Uh, do I just keep the phone now? Oh, she didn't put it back. Okay. I gather she was really into hockey. Must have been the parents' room, or at least her dad's. Really into... Base? Can't see your smile, honey. Today I saw Rachel. There's light everywhere. Rachel doesn't want to do her speech therapy exercises. I heard you, Rachel. You were right behind me. Rachel is sad. Rachel says she feels alone. Love you, Rachel. That was the girl that threw herself off the cliff. Okay. This place is a real mess. Never thought to find anything like that. It's the bathroom. What am I supposed to do? I have nothing on my to-do list. What was that? You still there, Irving? Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm still here, Miss McGrath. I, I mean, Miss Wilson. When you said this shack was sturdy... Oh, that's what I was trying to tell you the before. The church? Uh, around these parts, the weather... How much time do I have to move? Ah, uh, uh, the snow piles up pretty quick, and uh, uh, some parts over 3,000 feet are already icing over. I gotta risk it. 
Uh, you're not thinking of taking the car? Uh... No, I'll find a snowmobile no, or something. I was thinking of jogging into town. Oh, damn it. Uh, Nicole, uh, uh, listen, if your car uh, breaks down, we can't come get you. Not even with tanks. Whatever happened to Miss Wilson? Uh, oh, uh, sorry about that. I, I just... Uh, Nicole is fine. That said, thanks for everything. Again. Thanks. Uh, seriously, if you ended up out there with your car gone dead, with... 12 inches of snow and 20 degrees below zero, your lungs would collapse in a few minutes. I remember how things work in the mountains. Luck doesn't exist. As a, a FEMA agent, I have to insist... You know, you're not the first man... To, to do what? To try and stop me. Hey, uh, wait! Bye! What can go wrong? I have a 1986 Dodge. Uh... Right. Well, apparently she just wants to get the hell out. Take back the car, get away from here before the storm arrives. I won't stay here a minute more. No way. The attorney, he'll take care of everything. Fuck all this. That's the kitchen. Oh, nope, cold. The stair. Wait. Kitchen. I think. There's the laundry room. It's next to the boiler room, which is by the garage. Okay. That's the boiler room. Which means that this. To the left is the garage. That little car is not going to make it through mountain passes in this storm. Tell me you changed your mind. You there? Uh huh. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Uh, it's a direct line. I can't find my car keys. My fucking car keys. I left them on the seat. Are you sure? Think so. Maybe someone... <sighs> no, listen. This office is about 12 miles from the hotel as the crow flies. It's 40 miles by road. There's nothing or no one in between, and that's not a good thing right now. God damn it, I knew it. Uh, oh, maybe the keys are in your pocket. Wow, that didn't even cross my mind. Only trying to help. Yeah, that was kind of bitchy. No problem. Uh, the keys will turn up. Uh, the good news is that we have these new cell phones, uh, that's what they call them. Uh, radio doesn't reach out there. I bypass the signal to create a direct line through a shortwave sequencer. It's like a two-way radio station that's always open. Oh, this place. I vowed to never come back. Listen, I might only be a voice, but remember I'm here for you. If you need me, just call. Seriously. Ugh, oh, fine. Right. Open the garage door. I don't even have my keys. Why would I open the garage door? So I can see the wind and snow and rain? It's not raining. What am I Talk to me. I can't open the garage door. It's a conspiracy, damn it. Hey, the stuff freezes up with the cold. I have to get out of here. I'm not sure you get it. Look, I left this place ten years ago. I had no idea I would have to come back here, let alone stay a night. Nicole, I know your story. Everyone in the valley knows it. Your father, Rachel. I haven't heard that name since I left. I didn't want to be out of line. Don't mention the past. Okay. Well, I like that there's some semblance of control over the conversation, but I don't know if it affects the outcome of the game. Okay, so garage door is frozen. I'm gonna take the radio's advice and 
check on the boiler, I guess. That's a workbench. Old radio. Hey, uh, found anything useful? No. No keys. No garage door. I can't get out of here without freezing. Christ. It's probably only for a night. Uh, the conditions might get better tomorrow. They might? Uh, look, I'll be on duty all day. Call me when you want. Even just to talk. Okay. Oh, thanks, Irving. Just doing my job. Nicole? Yeah. I if I may. What? I'd like to give you some advice. If it comes with the job... You're safe up there. Just relax. It'll be fine. Uh, okay. Uh, later. I can't believe it. I'm stuck. Shit. Oh. Hello, day one. Apparently this is going to last longer than overnight. Freeze on me. Oh, there we go. Ah, the lamp pillow. Okay. Well, I guess we don't need the lamp anyway. Hello? You still there? Is that a joke? Yeah. Well, you're improving. What's up? Oh, nothing. I mean, just wanted to say, you got everything you need to have a smooth night. But you should take a look at the main power system. You know, no one's been up there since... Leonard's death. Uh, five days might not seem like much, but the Timberline has an age. I don't know. When I lived here, I was only a kid. I can barely find the bathroom. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> like, at least I won't wet myself? Um, no. I, I didn't mean... Don't blush, kid. I was just kidding. Oh, <laughs> I just... I'll call if I need you. So I want me to do nothing. Okay. He recommended checking the electricity. I can uh Oh For the next three days I'm playing Street Warrior or Fairy Road Survivor. Let's say ping pong. I can target. I need a flashlight. Irving, it's me again, obviously. I could really use a shower. Sure. You'll just need to turn on the furnace for the hot water. Oh, my mom never wanted me to go down there, but I loved that place. Full of little spiders. A real country bumpkin. <laughs> oh, I was a pest. Now, I think I even forgot how to get there. I forgot almost everything about this hotel. Funny, right? People forget what hurts, I think. Never enough, Irving. Never enough. Yeah. Well, furnaces are always in the basement. You won't have trouble finding it. Is there something else I should know, like, to survive? Well, That's why don't expect a five-star menu. Oh, really? Uh, you could survive for months with what's in the pantry. Let me guess. Canned beans, right? Bean soup, baked beans, potatoes and beans, bean broth. <laughs> Starving suddenly seems like an acceptable option. Wait, what's this? I think this is the tunnel that goes to the church. I can hear running water. Irving. Are you at the furnace? He's waiting for me. He's down there. What? Who? Uh, who? Old farting ghost. Wait, what did you say? Old farting... <laughs> I used to hide down there with hotel guest kids and wait for old farting ghost to come and get us. Farting... the furnace? <laughs> yeah. When Leonard found out, he almost choked laughing. Your father laughed about stuff like that? Yeah. Well, 
That's long gone. I know nothing about pumps and generators. But I see buttons. How's it going? It looks real... complicated. Furnaces are all the same. Can you see the control panel? Uh, I guess? What does the pressure gauge read? A hundred? Huh? The thing that looks like a clock. Looks like... 220? Oh. I don't like the sound of... oh. It should be more like 210 PSI. Pressure's building. You saying I have a choice between freezing or blowing up? <laughs> no. Push the green button. It's the starter. Old farting ghost, you rank spirit. Wake up! Huh? Nothing. Just talking to an old friend. Yeah, it sounds like a fart. And here he is, in tip-top shape, I'd say. <laughs> you were right. The furnace is haunted. <laughs> uh, now you've got hot water. You have no idea how grateful I am. Just doing my job. Oh my god. Give me some good news. Uh, just letting you know that the rooms will heat up before the hallways. I just want to go to bed. Did you find a room you feel comfortable in? Yeah. My old room. It's exactly like I left it. Leonard cleaned it, but he didn't touch a thing. Same as you left it? Exactly. How does that make you feel? They teach psych classes at FEMA. Well, just being nice. It's endearing. But I'm not 16 anymore. There's lots of other rooms in the hotel. No. I think I'll sleep just fine. Okay. I mean, there are other rooms, but don't I need to find the master key to get to those rooms? Oh, well, now what? Irving Crawford, FEMA. Hey. Hey! Listen, I just wanted to say, if I came across as obnoxious... No problemo. <laughs> I get it. it. Almost feels like I'm getting used to being here again. Whatever. Forget it, I'm beat, and I'm rambling. Oh, no, no. I, from the rumors that went around the valley about when you left the hotel, and all that rush, well... Right, I forgot. The Wilsonian mythology. Sorta. Now I'm just gonna chill in my room with the posters of my favorite bands, playing my old bass, totally unplugged. You play the bass? I suck. I wanted to thank you. Knowing that I'm not alone here is a huge deal. Yeah, well, uh, thank you for um, listening and not freezing to death in your car. So I owe you my life, then. Wow. It's just... Your job. I know. Night. Night. It's kind of like The Shining. Day one. Day two. I'll work in no play. Make Margaret mad. And I'm sure the phone's gonna ring. Morning. Good morning, Nicole. <sighs> Get any sleep? I'm gonna go with yes. I slept like a rock. I forgot my bed was so comfy. That's not how you spell comfy. <clears throat> so, any news? Uh, uh, what? Is the situation on the roads any better? Just, uh, give me a sec to get it together. 
Maybe I need some coffee. I didn't get any shot eye last night and Wait. You didn't sleep? Like at all? I thought you might need something and But I You didn't go home? Because of me? I'm a workaholic. So, uh, meteorologists are predicting a peak real soon, probably tonight. Uh, you can't move, not just yet. In theory, uh, what do you want to do? I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat first, then I'll think about it. It's time for you to take a tour of the pantry. Deal. I could eat a horse right now. The baked beans will be scrumptious. Right, pantry, pantry. Search for food in the kitchen here. I imagine the staff quarters have a direct link to the kitchen. And the phone's ringing again. Nicole? Irving, uh, how long has it been since someone's inspected the pantry? Inspected? You mean stocked? I'd just like to know if I should choose between malnutrition and food poisoning. There'll be tons of things to eat. Mm. Oh, definitely no mice or roaches. Pretty sure about that. I was thinking more like mold, bacteria, and such. Uh, you'll see. There's nothing to worry about. Like, the casual flirting's cute and all, but... Oh, that was the ballroom, not the dining room. Okay, so... Uh, we're in the hall. Right, okay. Yeah. There's a, that's the mezzanine. There's the dining room. So the kitchen's this way. Hmm. Kitchen was next to the boiler room, or was that the laundry room? This is the laundry room. This is why the kitchen was here somewhere. No, no, it was not. We saw the kitchen earlier. Pantry where the food is kept. There's some food, but it looks moldy. Weird. I didn't expect that. Uh, there's a freezer. Take a look there. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but so far this game has me on the edge of my seat. I can't wait to see what happens next. <sighs> Stranded in a hotel simulator, 2020. Mega lunch. Oh. What? You mean freeze to death? Hey, you kidding? Oh, fuck. I think I might actually die here. Freeze to death. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. There might be a problem with the fridge door. Just make sure it doesn't close. Are you close. fucking with me? No. Wait, what did I say? 
It would have been more useful to know that before I got locked in. Oh, holy shit. I'm a freaking space cadet. Yeah. I could have died in there. Oh, maybe the microwave still works? Wait, I did get pick up the food, right? I did. Okay. Where's Chef Mike at? Eagles are there. Did she just put a metal can in a microwave? I do not recommend doing that. It's gonna explode. Am I waiting a real time minute here? Well, nice to know that that's there. Microwave, fire extinguisher. Right! Does she have to slurp it? It's right in my ears. Okay. Day three. Quest for water. Uh huh. Sorry to interrupt your continental breakfast. Uh, I got a hold of Mr. Jenkins, the attorney. About time. When's he getting here? He tried to make it. His car ended up in a ditch between York Road and Valley. Oh, come on. He called 911 after just a mile. Well, I might as well finish the inspection. I can do it without Jenkins. Uh, he told me to give you a message. Here it is. He says to... Hmm. This is a swear word and you don't need to hear it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nicole, at this point, start assessing the general conditions of the hotel on your own. Uh, jot down what you want to keep. I recommend you start with the second floor. It's surely the most damaged. Please, only call me if you've got good news. Well, if something bad happens, wouldn't you want to know about it? The hotel's witch fire. A link with that side. Oh, why aren't you just calling it a TV or a fireplace? Maybe those were the names she called them as a kid. Second floor? Alright. Eighty-two. Are these doors supposed to close behind me? Maybe I'm just opening too many doors. All right, first floor. So this is the first floor, supposedly, right? Which means the next one's the second floor. Museum. All right. There's some serious water stains on the second floor. That floor is pretty run down. There's some windows missing and water damage too. Yeah. What's this? Blair Witch Journal. Problems with electronics, heating, sink, stink, and mouse, moose, and the my walls, rats, enough is enough. Okay. Obviously, they were a little distraught when they end to that complaint. A 
sealed door. Here I am. Uh, what's up? The hallway on the second floor is cut off. The door to the west wing is locked. Your father started renovations, but he didn't get the bank loan and had to stop. Leonard's attic is at the end of the hallway. His man cave. Does that mean something to you? I tried so hard to forget about that room for years. Anyway, uh, the West Wing is pretty run down after all this time with no windows. Hello? Are you there? You always have an answer to everything. What do you mean? I've joked about it, but it's not funny anymore. I don't understand, Nicole. You know how to turn on the furnace. You know where to find food, and that the fridge door is busted. What was that? You know my family's story and the hotels. It's up to FEMA to deliver the supplies to isolated places like the Timberline. I've been up there with the truck every month since I've been on duty. Is something wrong? How should I have known that, huh? I don't know. I don't know what you know and what you don't know. Uh, what difference does it make? None. I... I'm sorry if I upset you. No one can upset me. That must be my headphones. I better keep doing the inspection. I keep hearing a door open and close. These headphones make it sound like it's happening right behind me. Yeah, I can't get into the room to answer the phone. Yeah. Hello? Who is this? What? What did you say? Rachel is still there. Don't sell the hotel. Is this a joke? Who is this? Don't do anything stupid. You're gonna pay for this lame-ass joke. I have a phone, a cell phone, I'm talking with FEMA, and I'm gonna get them to call the sheriff. Now, when you say Rachel's still here, is she secretly living in the walls? Is that why the guests thought it was rats? I wonder if the doors I hear opening and closing are just um, uh, the doors I left open. I wouldn't mind getting into Leonard's man cave. You pissed at me? I don't have time to rehash my past with you. I've got a different problem. Someone just called the hotel. What? Who? It, it was a bad connection. W what did they want? They said, Rachel is alive. Don't sell the hotel. <sighs> Idiot. There's something else that doesn't make sense. The phone lines are down. Leonard stopped paying the bill months ago. I'll ask someone to run a check. I didn't know FEMA had FBI authority. Around these parts, time passes in a different way. Some stories seem like they've been forgotten, but actually they just sink down. Sink down? What's that mean? Tea leaves in a cup. What do you mean? Sounds creepy. That girl's death. Rachel. It was the result of painful events, and now it's someone's obsession. You talking about anyone in particular? Well, her death ruined two families that everyone looked up to. Yours and Rachel's. Your father, McGrath, the genius astrophysicist. And Rachel's father, the upstanding Reverend Foster, known all over the county. <laughs> Not something easy to forget around here. You know what I think? They can go get fucked, every one of them. I know what we went through. No one else. Fuck them. Yeah. Okay, day three. No TV and no beer make home or something, something. No. Oh. oh. Why is everything... 
Bone hey, cutie down. pie. Cutie pie. <laughs> Daddy? Nicole, it's Irving. Oh, sorry. I must have fallen asleep. I haven't slept like that since I was a kid. You had a tough day yesterday. I think I had a dream. About? Leonard, maybe. Okay, I, I need you to pay attention though. Should I worry? The storm brought down some power lines. There are blackouts all over. Actually, the lights are acting a little weird. <sighs> I was afraid of that. I don't like the idea of you up there on your own in the dark. We gotta do something. My electrical know-how is slightly limited. It's okay. I can guide you to the emergency generator. If we activate it, you'll be self-sufficient. Too easy. Where's the hitch? Uh, there are two ways of getting to the circuit breaker. Straight through the garage's side door, or from the floor you're on. But? The garage side door is stuck. You'll have to pass through the crawl space along the entire building and climb down from your floor. If the power goes out, you'll be completely in the dark. All right. What do I have to do? Uh, check the closet in your father's apartment and see if he left anything you can use for lighting. Ah. Oh. On my way. What, like the Polaroid camera? Oh, that wasn't really his closet, was it? Because his closet would be in his room. No, it wouldn't be. Why would it be in his room? Uh... Any news? I found a Polaroid. Family photo? Anything important? No, I mean a camera. It looks like it works. You want to take a photo of the generator? No, you moron. I was thinking of using the flash for lighting. Oh, smart. You can try. I wonder who this belonged to. Leonard, maybe? Some client probably left it. You can't imagine what people leave in hotels. Oh, I could tell you about the rubber friend that Mr. Rochford's widow left here in 82. Mayor Linden's kids and I used it as a miniature Indian totem pole for the whole summer. It was a huge scandal. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, yep. Anyway, the Polaroid's better than nothing. The light from the flash could come in handy. Yeah, but where is the crawl space? In the first floor staff area. All right. I've been there plenty of times. Okay. Okay. Almost there. I think the lights are getting worse. You need to move fast. On the same floor of your apartment, in the staff area, there's a small storeroom. Your father asked us several times to fix the lock. Fingers crossed, it's still broken. That's where the access to the crawl space is. The crawl space? I'd totally forgotten that. Remember where to go? No. But I do remember the panels were really hard to open. I wasn't allowed to go in there. What happens when I get to the closet? You'll have to go down to the breaker box and switch it on. All right. Doesn't sound like rocket science. Uh, hurry up, please. You suck at reassuring people. Just use the light that you use for your map. Look at this map. It is so well lit. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, where am I? Fifteen storage. There's the master suite. Walk this way past that staff quarters. Okay, main floor ballroom. We're following this. Storage should be on the left next to room 113. Well, I think we're going the right way. Flashlight. Yes, please. Oh, my God. Hi, I left you the dynamo flashlight. You'll have to work a little to make some light. Haha, <laughs> Ben. I can wind it up. I found the crawl space, and also a dynamo flashlight. Know how to use it? I think I just have to push the lever continuously. Is everything okay? When I was a kid, I used to crawl through tunnels like a mouse, but the crawl space seems so narrow now. Maybe you gained weight. <laughs> it's called growing up, idiot. Idiot? God. Right. So I have light as long as I keep pressing the button. I swear to God, I'm going to run into Rachel. Shit. What's wrong? I am totally in the dark. I'd appreciate some help. Uh, okay, stay calm. Uh, can you see the bundle of cables above your head? Uh, anyway, there should be some cables along the... Uh, yeah, I know what a bundle is. Okay, okay, easy does it. All you need to do is follow them and you'll get to the generator room. Don't go any other way, otherwise who knows where you'll end up. Perfect. I got the flashlight, sorta. I got my breadcrumb trail, more like my... Cable trail, whatever. I can do it. All right, yep. Easy. Does it. There we go. Okay, get it close behind me. And then the Velociraptors attack. Couldn't these be green? Lipstick. Red doll. Then how do I... Okay. Why did I take the lipstick with me? Uh, what's up? Uh, hi. I, I want to ask you something. Okay. Uh, go ahead. How long has the hotel been closed? Uh, about four years. Uh, yeah, from 89. I mean, did anyone think about doing a thorough clean of the basement? Don't know. Uh, probably pretty rushed. Why? I found something. Another Polaroid? A lipstick. Huh. What's a lipstick doing here? I don't know. It's a lipstick. lipstick. You don't get it. It looks really old. I remember this brand. The, the girls at school used it. Weird. What? It didn't dry out. I could even use it now. It's perfect. 
I'm afraid I don't get it. Irving, this brand doesn't exist anymore. It's been, I, I don't know, nine or ten years. Strange someone should wait ten years to open a lipstick just to use it, don't you think? Why are you telling me this, Nicole? You want to get pretty there with the generator? Are you crazy? Nicole, it's just another one of those things customers forget. Uh, I... well... yeah. You're probably right. Thank you for the freedom. Day four. Okay. All right, we'll admit, that was a little spooky going through that crawl space. Okay, day four. You knew Leonard. I, I thought we'd been through that. Let me finish. I spent the night going through his stuff, <sighs> and I want to know what Sporting you think. Is ordered, sir. About what? You awake? You obviously know sort more of. about this place than I do. What is going about on here? What went on here? Coffee? Since I For left, once, at least. I don't need it. What do you mean? I gotta you talk to you about something. Uh, what are you uh, looking okay. for? Someone calls me that was and glitch. says Rachel is alive. Then a lipstick appears out of nowhere. It feels like something weird's going on. Rachel is dead. I couldn't really follow that conversation. Everything blended together. That's what everyone says. But maybe the story deserves a second pass. Is that what Rachel looks there like? Are too many gray areas. Look, the storm is dying down. You'll be able to leave soon and go back to your life. And you can forget about the whole thing, like you did ten years ago. <laughs> what do you care about this old business? It's not worth losing sleep over just to play detective. I'm not busy at the moment. I want to follow my instinct. I haven't done it in so long, and it feels like things don't add up here. Okay, let me hear what you're thinking. If there's one thing Leonard taught me, it's that you gotta listen to what's buzzing in your head. First, it might just be a confusing noise, but if you connect the dots, then it starts making sense. And right now, I've got a beehive in my head. <laughs> All right, let's go hunt some bees then. Missoula to Helena. Rachel's body was found there. Rachel's root. Timberline. This is where we are. So Rachel went... What? He got a phone call too, the day before Christmas. Um, okay. Oh wait, she's putting these clues together. Okay. What's wrong with Leonard's book? Oh yeah, he wrote about... Oh, I see Rachel. And light everywhere. Uh, is Nicole starting to lose her mind like her dad? Are we going to see hallucinations? Something's not right in Rachel's story. I have to investigate the clues in Leonard's room and shed light. Okay, looking at the clues. Uh, she was nine weeks pregnant. Lipstick. Shed light. No? Put the camera. Um, are there more clues I'm missing? How am I supposed to shed light on this? I can't pick anything up. I can trace Rachel's route from the timberline 
to Missoula. Then she took a back trail to there. Oh, why didn't she just take 141? Right, that's the official version. She was nine weeks pregnant. She was working on her dyslexia. Odd stuff, Foster does. What is the goodbye note? Oh, that's the goodbye note. Sorry for what I did. I don't want to come. I didn't want to come to this, but I have no idea how to face the situation, so I chose the easy way. My father have always tried to te have always tr my father has always tried to teach me what was right and what was not, but I've never listened to him. It's broken English. I can't bear the idea of have ruined two families with my weakness. Probably it's true what my classmate says. I'm stupid and retarded. Oh yeah, she has dyslexia. Okay. <laughs> and I don't deserve to keep on living. Maybe it's the right atonement for being a bad daughter and an immoral person. God will be mad at me for that. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Shed light on the clues. Okay, awesome. Got it. Did it. Day five. Okay, it's nighttime. I don't know how I'm supposed to shed light on clues. How do I clues? Or did it bug out in the beginning and I can't do clues? Can I restart the day? Since it got buggy? Clues, 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 clues. I'm going to try to restart it. Maybe if I reload it from the last save. No bugs this time. Not push any buttons. <clears throat> Reporting is ordered, sir. You awake? Sorta. <sighs> you forget your coffee? For once, I don't need it. I gotta talk to you about something. Um, uh, okay. Great talk. Here I am. You didn't tell me you knew Leonard. I, I thought we'd been through that. Let me finish. I spent the night going through his stuff, and I want to know what you think. About what? You obviously know more about this place than I do. About what went on here, since I left at least. What do you mean, you went through his stuff? Uh, what are you looking for? Someone calls me and says Rachel is alive. Then a lipstick appears out of nowhere. It feels like something weird's going on. Rachel is dead. That's what everyone says. But maybe the story deserves a second pass. There are too many gray areas. Look, the storm is dying down. 
You'll be able to leave soon and go back to your life. And you can forget about the whole thing, like you did ten years ago. <laughs> what do you care about this old business? It's not worth losing sleep over just to play detective. I'm not busy at the moment. I want to follow my instinct. I haven't done it in so long and it feels like things don't add up here. Okay, let me hear what you're thinking. If there's one thing Leonard taught me, it's that you've got to listen to what's buzzing in your head. First, it might just be a confusing noise, but if you connect the dots, then it starts making sense. And right now, I've got a beehive in my head. <laughs> All right, let's go hunt some bees then. Okay, wall clue. Friend's story. In this article from a couple years back, there's a statement by some girl who affirms she saw Rachel in a hallway at the Timberline. Who's this girl? A, a classmate, Glenda Ferguson. I tore out the page. I think the magazine was M.T. Woman. Nicole, that's a gossip magazine. They would sell their mother, even their cousins and nephews, just for a bunch of new readers. Uh, I know, it's not a very reliable source. Rachel fell 90 feet into a void. She can't be alive. I thought I was the Wait, skeptical she one here. they never found the body? Yeah, no, they did find a body. The coroner reported that she was uh, nine weeks pregnant. I found a copy of the local paper, dated December 29th, 1981, the day that the body was discovered. According to the forensics report, Rachel had been dead for days. She was nine weeks pregnant. Huh. Yeah. That was the official version. So, listen to this. Graphologists doubt the authenticity of the suicide note left by the girl. Who said that? An investigative journalist. The article came out a year after her death. You think it's a setup? Perhaps. Okay, well, I'll hear you out. Missed the hole. Light everywhere. Hey, I found a book in Leonard's things. It's a collection of poetry, but it's got notes written in it. Did your father write them? What do they say? Dates, notes, thoughts. Listen to this. Today I saw Rachel, or Rachel is sad, or Rachel says she feels alone. He kept a diary about her. But the book was printed eight years after Rachel's death. Do you mean it's like he was talking with Rachel after she died? As if he saw her. Well, I mean, there must be an explanation. Of course, there's an explanation for everything, and we've got to find it. Remember the lipstick I found downstairs? Yep, you made a big deal about it. It doesn't smell. Should it? After they've been open for a while, lipsticks smell really bad. Maybe there's been other women. I mean... From what I gather, Leonard was a sort of recluse. And don't forget, the lipstick is really old. Um, could the cold have preserved it? Possibly. Anything else? 
Yeah. You know, I can't stop thinking about Rachel's father. Reverend Foster. He was a very strict man. Harsh. Even for pastor standards. He and Leonard spent hours debating the nature of reality, the universe, and God. Well, opposites often attract. Do you ever see him? Rarely. He gives a service once in a while. Back in the day, I thought he was a kind of reptilian with a human skin suit. His daughter's death destroyed his ego. His faith made him even more cynical and lonely than he already was. I can remember him demanding, demanding, demanding total perfection from Rachel. That was insane. You don't think he could have harmed his daughter? Hey, no, no. But... Stranger things Even have happened. Even Reverend Foster is a player we shouldn't underestimate in this story. Just saying. Uh, right. Okay, I'd say that's enough. Yeah, that's enough for tonight. Uh, today, or what the hell time is it? You think there's a lot to dig up in this old story? Maybe, maybe not. Until I know exactly what happened. Any objections? You don't need my approval. Good job. You're getting the hang of it. But, sometimes it's better to leave the skeletons in the closet. And once they come out, you never know what they'll have to say. It's a risk I already considered. I can handle it. Hard-headed like your father. <laughs> Trust me, at least on this one thing. Go to bed. You need it. Agent Crawford, this bit of advice. I'll follow it to the T. Day five. Is she really dead? If she's not dead, she was nine weeks pregnant. How could she not be dead? They did an autopsy. Well, I'm dreaming. Hey, cutie pie. How are you? Daddy? Daddy, is that you? Where are you? I can't see you. You came back in the end. It's like the inescapability of a celestial body's revolution. We can't help but follow certain stars' brightness. Even if those stars have died millions of years ago. Is it you? For real? Are you real? Their light is alive. What is that? And it reaches us. And those stars are alive and dead at the same time. Daddy, where did you go? I missed you so, so much. Listen, sweet pea. My sweetheart. That's not sweetheart, that's a Listen sweat to my heart. Voice. It's important. I can't see you. Where are you? Where are you? My sweat heart. You know how much I love you. I know, Daddy. I've always known it. What is this? I love you too. Say it again, please. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Rachel. 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 So day five was just a really bad mushroom trip or something. I don't know what that was. And that's not how you spell sweetheart. It's not, they spelled it sweatheart. I feel like they just used autocorrect to do the subtitles. I'm not sure anymore. <clears throat> Wait, what now? Morning. Am I interrupting? I was eating steak and potatoes, cheesecake, strawberry shake, and a frothy cappuccino, Italian style. <laughs> So the usual frozen beans. Sharp as attack, as always, Agent. Uh, I did find something. Um, some tapes that were found in the main office. In truth, I shouldn't even have taken them. Oh, <laughs> so what'd you find, Billy the Kid? Well, I don't think it's anything useful. Uh, wait, wait, where did I put them? What? 
The pliers, so I can pry the words out of your mouth. Oh, sure. Okay, okay. It's, um... It's VHS of the behind-the-scenes of a TV broadcast, but it's it's all bullshit just to attract an audience. Uh, trust me Jesus, that... you can be really long-winded. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Uh, they're tapes about haunted hotels, weird and mysterious stories, stuff kids like, uh, with these guys who call themselves ghost hunters. Ghost hunters? Did they hear about the old farting ghost? I'm not sure, but... Uh, uh, they went on a tour of old buildings in the county, and they stopped by the timber line, too. Whatever, let me hear it. Okay, uh, but I'm warning you, it's kind of... Well, listen for yourself. Okay. Okay, okay, the lights look good. How about the headphones? I don't know, there's like a buzzing noise. Listen. Yeah, true. Well, the German ones were better. <clears throat> we are about to enter a nightmare hotel. A place full of deceit and secrecy where terrible lies were played out. Nah, I don't like that. I'll do it again later. Oh, the room with the fireplace isn't bad. Okay. Spare me the kitchen. I wouldn't know what the hell to say. Fireplace okay? Kitchen? No. Stan, where'd you leave all the gear? Room one. I stuck a piece of tape on the door. I didn't get that. What room? I one got a something. buzz in the headset. Damn microphones. One, one, seven. Danny, what's that stuff in camera? It's it's giving off a glare and burns out the frame. I told you no tricks. What tricks? I didn't use anything. <gasps> Stop fucking around, Danny. I told you I didn't rig anything. I saw it too. It's uh, a mirror, isn't it? Huh? It looked like the reflection on a mirror. What'd you smoke this morning? What the fuck are you two up to? Cut the crap, you freaking me Holy up. shit, there it is! There it is! Where? I saw it, it's just up there. It's like a light, like a door that opens. I swear Damn I- it! Stop touching me or you'll give me a heart attack. What are you talking about? I'm like over here. Fuck, I felt someone touch me. Are you kidding? Huh. That's it? Yep, the tape's damaged. Too damp. Well, I'd say fucking typical. How ladylike. What happened in the end with the TV show? Never aired. Some say they ran off, ditching everything there. Yeah, but they mention a room on the tape. I'd like to take a look. It's, uh, 117, I think. Yep, figured that part out. 117, yeah. Same floor as my apartment. There's a piece of tape. Hey. I found the room. But? For someone barricaded it with an L bracket. Do what they do in movies. Bust through the door with your shoulder. Uh -huh. Real funny. I need a screwdriver. I think I saw one around somewhere, but uh, I don't remember where. Probably in the basement. In the, by the garage. It seems to me I've seen one in the garage. Or was it the generator room? I'll let you know. Okay, well, it wasn't exactly the garage. It was that electric room with the breakers. But we got to it through the garage. I'm not going through that crawl space again. Why is this open? This should not be open. Okay. Hey, uh, found the screwdriver? No. I keep thinking about those guys, the, the ghost hunters. You sure it was an act? It sounded so natural. Awesome actors, I'll give them that. I can't stand the idea that my family problems might end up on cable or some tourist guide. Fortunately, it seems that won't happen. They hightailed it out of there. God only knows why. Don't tell me you believe in ghosts or some bullshit like that. Well, I'm not superstitious, but... If someone believes that a black cat is bad luck, then you also have to believe that something else is good luck. Huh? What are you talking about? Prayer, for example. 
I have no idea. Okay. You're saying prayer brings good luck? I doubt Reverend Foster would agree. A screwdriver. I'm out of here. Good thing I remember good. I remember so good. I'm the goodest rememberer. Okay. Those wind chimes. Might have to use snowshoes to get out of here. Why do I keep hearing wind chimes? That's unsettling. Okay, room 117. I wonder if that's a shout out to Master Chief and Halo. What was that? It sounds like someone's trying to sell me something. Okay. They left everything there. They fled the hotel. And then I'm guessing your dad put an L bracket on it. Probably for a good reason. But you know what? We're going to throw caution into the wind and just go in. Has anyone seen that movie 1408? Is this an evil fucking room? Picture. What? Of a Florida strange hotel. How much do you know about those TV shows? The ones about haunted houses? I know they're popular. A lot of tourism revolves around them. Did the whole... Rachel story really bring them here? Everyone in town knew about her suicide. Had a bit of gossip. Ugh, so sad to see the place you grew up in go downhill. I know. I'm so sorry. Believe me. Parabolic microphone could be handy. You can hear ghosts with that. Or listen through walls. In the suitcase. I want to open it. All upside down. Is it in Spanish? Or... Russian? It's all math anyway, I don't know. Okay. Well, at least we can play movies now. Need to find a good movie to play. Accounting... Like, no tape in there. Oh, wait, there's a tape already in the VHS. Have you calmed down yet? Quit playing dumbass jokes. What does that guy do all day? Who, you mean the owner? Leonard the Freak? Uh-huh. I don't know. He's always locked up in the attic. You can hear him pacing up and down. Well, better for us. We've got the whole hotel to do whatever we want. <laughs> Shut up a sec. There's that noise again in the headphones. Sounds like someone is talking to themselves. I see you smoking the good stuff. <laughs> I can use that for me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Did you see his face? He's missing a couple screws. <laughs> Sounds like a woman's voice. A girl. What the... I'll bet living alone in a place like this all winter, he can't help but go nuts. <laughs> so depressing. Danny, did you get rid of the interference? 
Fuck, I pay you to do your job, not jerk around. Fuck off, Stan. What do you think I'm doing? It's a mess here. Nothing's working. There's voices. Listen, Danny, cut the crap. I'm gonna go have a sit. And if you don't figure it out by the time I'm done... Ah! What the fuck are you doing? I shot that thing! Well, you're not taking it. No, I mean, for real! What? Huh? What the... No one's here, I'm telling you! What do you guys say? It looks more like a... Like a... a oh, my... Right. Oh, hell no. Nope. Hey! Huh. Jesus. For fuck's sake, Irving! Oh, uh, what did I do? He gave me a heart attack. Sorry, I'll warn you with a carrier pigeon next time. Ah. Uh, what? I I'm just curious to know what you found in that room. Well, you should be. You're never going to believe it. Day seven. Is this the day I get the axe? <laughs> I'm not pressing buttons. The last time I did that, it bugged out. I have to wait it out. Merry Christmas. I pick that I up? You still there? Where else should I be? Did you forget what day it is? I wouldn't miss Nicole's amazing adventures in the remote mountains for anything. Irving, don't tell me you're staying on just for me. Go! I promise not to get into any trouble for the rest of the night. I already told you. I'm sticking around till you get closure. Thanks. You always do that? Do what? Worry about every desperate stranger that knocks on your door. You're no stranger. We've never met, Irving. I can't even picture your face. You've been a part of this place since you were born. You belong here. I'm getting well, weird, Irving. I thought I left all this behind. Maybe I still have a ways to go. To... Be free? You're making progress. Two days ago, you would have skinned me alive if I'd called you a country bumpkin. <laughs> what tells you I'm not sharpening my knives this very minute? It's good we're just talking on the phone, then. Listen, is this contraption really a phone? It feels like a walkie-talkie slash defibrillator. It's a real phone, and trust me, in a few years, Everybody will have one. You think? It's easier for me to believe in ghosts than to imagine people being hounded by a phone when they're out and about. I'm... I'm grateful for it. I wouldn't have met you without it. Irving? Are you hitting on me by any chance? Uh, no. <laughs> what are you... I mean, it's just... I... Relax. I was kidding. <sighs> I can never tell when you're kidding. Yeah, it's one of my fascinating virtues. Same. Oh, hold on a sec. Don't go anywhere, okay? Huh? Oh, okay. I got the key you have a good night too, Miss Flattery. Merry Christmas. Good night, hon. Here I am. To be honest, I never thought I'd spend Christmas like this. <sighs> Sorry, I was going off on another flashback about the life of Nicole Wilson. Christmas Eve is the right time to reminisce. Yeah. Yeah. I get it too. Yeah. That's what there was, in the end. 
There was like a strange kind of warmth. Then it all ended. Christmas of 80. Me and my mom were at my aunt's house in Billings, and Leonard was here on his own. While I was pretending that I liked my aunt's sweater, he and she were... Nicole. They... Uh, hey. And a year later, she killed herself. And what she was carrying, too. Don't be like that. There you have it. These are my memories, and, uh... Hey, did you hear that? No. What are you talking about? Like a clinking. Like wind uh, chimes? No, I, I don't hear anything. Sorry, I want to check. Uh, okay. I, I was thinking about earlier, when I said I was happy to have met you. Uh-huh. I, I just... I, I, I was trying to figure out how to tell you. I, I feel real close to you, Nikki. I, God, I hear myself talk. I sound like an idiot. That's really sweet, but maybe we should put this conversation on hold. I want to be there to help you. I'm just a useless voice on the mic. Believe me, right now, I would also like a little bit more presence. You know, uh, people get close in lots of ways. Please, shh, a sec. I'm trying to listen to this noise. All right, I get that I might be overdoing it. Oh, Sorry, dude. I'm klutz, and, and sometimes it's... Irving, please, shut up. Thanks. Listen, we'll get back to this, but let me figure this out. Where is this sound coming from? I don't hear anything. Anyway, um, later... Really sounds like it's coming from here. I'm watching that meter. But when I go into the hallway, it disappears on me. What was that? Irving, you hear me? Oh, for fuck's sake. Hey, sorry I didn't answer. I was, uh, busy. Oh, uh, no problem. It's fine. What do you want to tell me? It's this microphone. Sometimes it captures sounds. What sounds? Whispers. It could be a draft in the crawl spaces. This is not a draft, dude. Yeah, sure. Sorry. I didn't mean to worry you. Uh, heads up, and if you sense trouble, just let me know. You're getting louder? It's getting quieter, so I'm going the wrong way. For me, or was that... Oh, Jesus Christ. It's probably right on the other side of this wall. <laughs> oh, God, I did not like that.
Oh, God. Oh. <clears throat> okay. I don't like playing hide and seek with ghosts. And it really sounded like the girl was choking. Being away from it. It's Is she above me? Oh, that portrait freaked me out. There are some marks on the wall. Water damage and the passing of time ruin wallpaper. It looks like hands or... A face, or, or both. Yeah, sounds disturbing. My brain is just trying to see a shape, like with clouds. Ugh, never mind. Yeah, I can see there's the bridge of the nose. There's the mouth. I can also see the handprint. It's both. Ugh. I don't want to find it, but I want to find it. My goosebumps are so high right now, it's hurting my skin. Shut up, ghost, you hairy bitch. Oh, -ho. I don't think I want to find it. Let's try one more floor down. I really do not like the other extra noise it's picking up. Oh, it's so red. Is it in the ballroom? Okay. Mm. Ah, I'm going to turn around. Okay. Found anything? I can't hear that sound uh -huh. anymore. 
It's easy to freak out when you're on your own up there. You think? Maybe it's not me. It's this hotel. I... I didn't hear you. You know, for a second it was nice to imagine that the past could come back like that. We always had a party on December 23rd. Maybe you heard about it? It's pretty well known in the county. <laughs> Sounds amazing. You should have seen the ballroom back then. I can almost picture it. The last time Rachel's family was there, Reverend Foster wasn't as sullen as usual. And your parents? My mother had eyes only for Leonard. And he... I saw he wouldn't stop staring at that girl. Rachel. She... talked and moved with the grace and confidence of an adult. She wore a dress with a bow on her back. She was so beautiful. Perfect. Fuck. It was the beginning of the end and we were breaking out the champagne. Nikki, I... Sorry, I'm <laughs> becoming a freaking nostalgic up here. Well, I, I can't hear that sound anymore. It's gone. I'm gonna look around again and then I'm going to bed. No, just go to Careful. bed. You don't have to look around. <laughs> oh. Why am I in the church? I don't have my flashlight. This must be a dream. I don't have any of my gear. Just keep running, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Don't look back. Got to close the door. Where the hell was I in the church? Does she sleepwalk? Where's your gear? Am I gonna find Rachel? I kinda don't wanna find Rachel. What is it with finding Rachels lately? Life is strange, this thing. Oh. Keep waiting for the jump scare. That sound like a baby? What am I supposed to do? I don't even have my map! A phone, I'm in the church. Can I pull up my map? It glitch out again. Do I have to reload it? Am 
I supposed to find some? I have to go all the way back and find something in the church, don't I? Oh. Mm. No. God, why can't you just go to bed and pretend it never happened? I don't see why we can't just use the snowshoes to walk out of here. There's even climbing equipment. If only I had a map. Okay. Near the running water. Oh my god, I closed the door behind me. Do I have to play hopscotch with the ghost? Because I'm not a very good hopscotch kind of guy. Really don't like this. Why am I here? What is in here? Sleeping bag. How did I end up in the church? Where is my stuff? Where is the map? What is that noise? Sounds like somebody's really letting it loose in the bathroom or something. Okay. Just for shits and laughs, I'm going to reload the game. I feel like I should at least have my flashlight and my map. Right? Is that not a thing? Start at the church. Didn't press any buttons. I don't know why it glitched out. Did it glitch out? Am I supposed to look out the window? I still don't have my map. Still don't have my lights. Oh, spacebar zooms in too. No map, no lights. Okay, so I'm not supposed to have that stuff. Okay. Hello? noises but I lack the lights to pursue anything no phone I remember the sleeping bed wait a minute if I don't have a flashlight a phone or a map what if I am not Nicole right now what if I'm not the character what if I'm the monster 
And I have to find Nicole. Okay. This is open. It just says pig. It's the red restroom from The Shining. Vandals. Of course it's vandals. Am I looking for me? Okay then. Just in case you have to take some holy shits. No, I am Nicole. She's wearing the same shirt at least. Random exploration go! Powers of insecurity activate. Can't fit through this one. Okay, the way I figure, if I just roam around, something will happen. Or maybe I can finally get into the man cave. You know, when you're playing a spooky game, ambient noises are just not your friend. these uns wait no is the sealed room unsealed no okay but that door is open and I don't remember the door being open last time you got a friend in me this of the construction cost estimate. $902,000. Yeah, let me just whip out the old wallet there. Okay. Let's go check out room 117. I swear I can hear a kid laughing. Or making a grunting sound or something. Okay. There's a jump scare. I'd like for it to just get it over with. The waiting is driving me nuts. I will go everywhere. I don't need a map. I'll just follow my nose. here breathing no light for those moments you want to bathe in the dark I could hear breathing It's gone. It's got to be coming out of that one room. I swear that's a lighter. It's pills. Holy crap! Look at the size of that toilet. Damn, you'd fall in that thing. And that's with the seat down. Wait, is that a kitty litter box?
Right. Let me try using this crawl space. We're getting all spooky now. Where did this take me? Where am I? Okay. This must be the dining room. I'm going to go back to back up to that room where I heard breathing. And hear it here. I think it's coming through the vent. Oh yeah, that door's locked. Something I'm supposed to do. I don't know what that is. I'm not going back that way. Okay. The pickaxe is missing. I'm gonna die. Was the pickaxe always missing? Oh, I wish I could go back in time and remember.
What would really help is if I knew where I was supposed to go. Our cables. Counting that noise as progress. What the heck? Is that the pastor, Rachel, and her baby? this At this point, dude, I'm going to lay down and you just hit me as hard as you can. Don't hold back. I can hear you. I don't have a parabolic microphone to track you down. Apparently, I'm missing my map. There's got to be something here. Did the door just open or close. Okay. Hello. I have cleaner. Yeah. 
Yeah, you got asthma. I got it. What am I not supposed to find? What? There's my inventory. Oh my. Irving? Merry Christmas, Nikki. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it's a little late for holiday greetings, but I expected that. What? Well, I, I thought you were calling to... Hey, is everything okay? Yes. I mean, I, I don't think so. No. What happened? I think... I sleepwalked. I like think I'm an idiot. in the old Laurel and Hardy movies? I'm serious. I, I woke up in church, standing in front of the lectern. Wow. Does that happen a lot? No! Uh, one doesn't just become a sleepwalker from one day to the next. It used to happen when I lived here. One time in February, I ended up outside. But no parent leaves the doors unlocked if their kid sleepwalks. I never told anyone. Sleepwalking episodes are common in children. That's not the point. I forgot all about it. Then I come back here and it happens again. If I ended up in that church, maybe there's a reason. Sometimes following your instinct is the best thing. I don't want to go back there now. But I'll think about it. Oh, uh... Irving? Yeah? Who's Nikki? Oh wait, I'm Nikki. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Nikki. Aha! There's that wind chime you sound again. Uh, hi. Uh, I, I was thinking, there really could be a repressed reason as to why you ended up there. So you've come to the conclusion that I'm not crazy? Never thought that. Well, at least not in this case. Oh, fuck off. Hey, language, Sister Nicole. All right, all right. So, if I think about the church, I think about my mother. She often helped Reverend Foster. She decorated for holidays, did fundraising, and put up booths to involve the whole community in parish activities. You know, that kind of stuff. I know what you mean. I think she found gratification in doing that, something she didn't get elsewhere, including the hotel. When we moved to Portland, she quit. Fundraising? God. I gather you didn't exactly have a high opinion of your mother when you were a kid. Well, she was really busy with the hotel. I was always running after Leonard. He was much more fun than she was, no doubt about it. He was a philosopher capable of calculating the motion of celestial bodies while taking apart and refitting a motorcycle in less than half an hour. What about her? In the same half hour, she could have audited a business balance sheet. There you go. Ah, a businesswoman. 
Hmm, no. What I understood later, living in such proximity to her, is that Mom loved feeling needed. A religious community like ours makes you feel needed, without a doubt. I suppose. doing there? Dunno. I think you stayed on the line. Didn't notice. You think it's too horror? The church, the organ, the notes reverberating in the dark? It's been years since anyone played it. <sighs> My mother's heart would break to see it like this. She adored it. You should take it with you. To play it. In Portland. You're better off listening to a cat in heat than my scales. Well, you can always pick it up again. Even if I don't think it's crucial. I mean, playing the organ. <laughs> yeah, right. Tell that to my mom. Essential part of a woman's education, I must admit. Oh, poor mom. She had a daughter that would rather dig for gold at Hunter's Gudge till the cows came home. I can totally picture you. Uh-huh. Then, there was Rachel, who reminded me how useless I was in music. Look how good Rachel is. Look how she puts her mind to it. She doesn't know how to read, but she's got a real ear for it. While I was considered the illiterate artist in the house, if Rachel had been around, she would have improvised Beethoven's Ninth. Was she so perfect? Yes. I'm only just now realizing how jealous I was. Keep looking. Got all that from playing the organ in the dark? Nikki? When there was a party, my mother always got out the usual streamers and decorations and stuff. She raced in and out of the church, but I never discovered where she kept all those things. Never asked? Oh, a million times. She didn't want to answer. She said they were in a safe place. A real mystery. <laughs> what kind of decorations could they have possibly been? Nothing explosive. It's just that I had the bad habit of sneaking all over the place and forgetting what time it was. There was that huge lady, the uh, assistant cook, Mrs. Bryce. She used to get so mad. <laughs> <laughs> A judicious girl. They promised to reveal the secret storeroom when I got older, but I must have forgotten. The mystery of the secret storeroom. Ooh, sounds good. The riddle! What are you talking about? Leonard was never good at keeping secrets. But he taught me a riddle to get there. Can you remember it? <laughs> Incredible. Yes. Oh, something like... Down the stairs, watch your step. Don't fall apart or it's your end. Round a corner, turn around. There's your way in front of you. All that's closed can be open to if you see beyond its looks. But how can I remember it? How... it's... I... I... Wow. A total mystery. Wanna play? Uh, I... yes. I need to think about it. I have no idea what it means. I'll, I'll call you if anything comes to mind. There's a lot of stuff to report in Someone the church. Someone broke into the church. Some fucking screwed up camper. Oh, your father left it open for Mountain Wanderers. Goddamn sons of... Ugh. I'll have to clean up this mess before Jenkins shows up. Yeah, keep an eye out. Normally, no one's around in this weather, but you never know. Ugh. Okay, okay. Good voice. You practicing for the church choir now? Ah, I know this tune. The souls that come out of their graves. It's from the book of Revelation. Can I ask you about your mysterious father, who you only sort of mention? 
My father was nothing like Leonard. Well, I don't know what happened between you, but if you want to talk about it, I... I... I will. But not now. It's, um... It's complicated. Yeah, I get that. Believe me, I do. Thanks. What'd you find? The paintings of the saints. I was convinced Leonard had gotten rid of them. Why? He liked saying that it was more likely to find God in a supernova than in a church. I don't see what he had in common with the Reverend Solomon Foster. They mostly talked for long stretches, in between chess moves up in the attic. United by pawns and bishops, but divided by the saints. <laughs> divided by everything else, I'd say. We could solve the riddle, I could finally find the old storage room. Yeah, that riddle was vague as hell. Is there a journal or a clue or some way you can go down the stairs, don't fall apart, turn around, and there you are. Old storage. Hey, there's the poem. Down the stairs, watch your steps, don't fall apart or it's your end. Around the corner, turn around, there's your way in front of you. All that's closed can be open too. You see beyond its looks. How about I follow the sound of running water? Oh, shit. Shouldn't you be calling the FEMA agent? So, found the mystery decorations? Uh, no, no. No decorations. Is everything okay? I found something. What? I... It's like someone built some kind of bedroom. Irving, you there? Uh, uh, of course, yeah. Uh, but bedroom, T tell me what you see. Okay. I... Uh, there's some windows. Drawn on the walls. Books. Sheet music. A pink bed. It's like a kid's room. No way. This place doesn't make sense. No one would live down here. Nicole, Nikki, I think you should get out of there now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's got to be an explanation. Okay, that's it. Uh, now I'm calling the head office in Billings. I'm telling them it's a code red emergency, so they'll have to- Jesus Christ, Irving! What? This is all Rachel's stuff. Understand? It's her room. A, a, a replica. Uh, you don't know that. Y you can't know what her room looked like. Everything here reminds me of her. Let me look around. I'm sure I'll find an explanation. But my other hand's on the red phone. Keep it there, but don't make the call. I need to figure out what's going on here. Oh, bullcrap, make the call. Did you get out of there? You know by any chance if Rachel wore a retainer? Uh, maybe? Uh, there was an article saying they hadn't found it at the site of the suicide. I remember. She always made a horrible noise when she clipped it onto her palate with her tongue. What does Rachel's retainer have to do with anything? I found a box. It could be hers. Why should someone keep a ten-year-old retainer? Maybe they're not just keeping it. Maybe they're using it. The box is empty. No way. I, I can't... Let me go on.
breadcrumb. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. We have to call someone. You have to get out of there right now. No, I found a key. It's from my old music box, the one in Leonard's room. I'm having a hard time following. If everything in here is Rachel's, then why is my music box's key here? I don't know and I don't want to know. Tell you what I think, someone could have been in your room. You think? It doesn't matter. How can you be so calm? I'm not if calm. If someone was in there, he's not here now. I need to grab the chance to figure out what the hell is going on, or went on, here. I can hear you breathing. Yes. Nicole, listen. I already know what you're going to say, but please trust me. Get out of there. Please, you're not helping. You do realize you found the replica of a dead girl's bedroom. This is sick. This is a... a the a more things get freaky, bizarre, and painful, the more I need to figure out why. Why all of this... We'll figure it out with the sheriff. Once you're out of there, into a safe hotel room in town. Please, just... Listen, a bunch of strange things happened since I got here. Think about it. Phone calls on a dead line. Old lipsticks that don't go bad. Leonard's notes where he says he saw a girl that's supposedly been dead for ten years. And now this! All good reasons to get out of there. We both agree that saving your skin is top priority, right? I've looked over every inch of this place and there's no one. You're in if the fence. True, you realize what that means? What? What are you trying to tell me? Your father... He spent years in there. In total solitude. With the weight of his family and Rachel on his conscience. He, he wasn't the kind of guy to just let the past slide with a shrug. You know that too. I can't believe you said something like that. Think about it. That room could be an act of love. Distorted, even morbid, but in his eyes... How dare you! My... My father might have had a lot of weaknesses, but surely what you're saying... Leave out that he cheated on my mom. Leave out that he fell in love with a 16-year-old, but fucking hell, don't you dare even think that! I... He would never have built a fucking underground shrine for a dead person. Your father had changed in the end. You didn't spend time with him, but I met him, and I'm telling you. No! I don't give a shit about what you have to say. I just want you to know that- If you don't want to help discover the truth, don't call me. That barely gave me any time to respond. Are you telling me you can't hear that? This might help you. How dare you? You don't know shit. You don't know fuck. Finally, a bit of peace and quiet. It'll help me clear my head without those incessant phone calls. I'm not a fucking switchboard, for fuck's sake. Okay, let me piece things together. I just found out there's a room dedicated to Rachel Foster in my father's hotel. Maybe with items from her real room. Holy Jesus, that's freaky. You're telling me, lady. Some people think she didn't commit suicide, and some even think she's still alive. I have to think it through. What concrete clues did I find? First thing, the phone call. They said Rachel isn't dead. Then, the lipstick from ten years ago turns up, still good. And then, my father's various notes where he says he still sees her. If that were true, it might explain the sighting by her friend here in the Timberline. And now I find her retainer box, but no retainer. That room might not be a reconstruction. If Rachel didn't kill herself, Rachel could have lived here. But if she's still alive, why doesn't she tell her parents? Unless... 
They're all in cahoots. No suicide, no timberline money. No, 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 I'm just being paranoid. And then, there'd be no reason for her to live in a fucking underground replica of her room. My key in the middle of Rachel's stuff. Is it a message? Where do I fit in? Are you trying to tell me something, Dad? My music box with the hockey player. I don't think I have the guts to hear that tune again. I don't like it. But I must. Good thing I ran all the way up here. The 27th of December, 1983. The hockey finals at Masula. Us against Cold Springs High. We won by sudden death after a three-hour game, and I got the medal for the most number of face-offs won. According to the papers, that was the night Rachel killed herself. Coming home, Mom barely had the time to pull into the garage that I was already racing up to you, waving the medal in your face, Daddy. I was so happy. But you had other things on your mind, right? And you and Mom started fighting. Voices getting louder. That long silence when she comes down the stairs with the suitcases and Mrs. Bryce tries to stop her. Mom's car stays here and we leave with my Uncle John's. I never found out what started that fight. Mom never wanted to talk about it. Are you trying to, Daddy? Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> this game gets creepy. Why am I in front of the sealed door? Why do I hear voices? Come on. Irving. Finally. I'm okay. I was dying on this chair. Let's keep going, if you want. Together. So, I looked around the entire hotel, and if there's still a chance of getting to the bottom of this story, then it's got to be behind the locked door on the last floor, in the attic. That wing has been condemned for years. I know. I'll be careful. Okay. There are too many things that I took for granted. It's as if someone was putting pieces of my past in front of me to show them to me under another light. Who are you talking about, Nikki? Maybe it's my father. In my music box, I found the medal I won the night Rachel died. Dad could have put it there, and if he did, there must be a reason. It... it all sounds insane. The night Rachel died. Maybe I have to start from there. I played in that really long hockey game. But what was going on in the meantime? You remember that night, Irving? I think I was at church with my family. Church? That night we had a mass for the poor here. We held one every year. As usual, Mom volunteered to take me to the game, but she was so busy with the soup kitchen that I was afraid she was going to be late. I remember while she ran around, she said she ordered me to close the mezzanine. You mean the intermediate floor above the reception? What's in there? A storeroom. Have you been up there? No, I'd forgotten all about it. I'd better take a look before moving on. Okay. There was a storeroom on the mezzanine. Did I miss that? Oh, there is. I did. Nope. 
No, no. If I die, this was the last thing I saw. Did the music have to do this? Fucking hell, there's a bat. Oh, it's a hockey stick. There's no reason to have this many mannequins in a hotel. We don't sell clothes here. <sighs> is this implying what I think it is? That my that Nicole beat her to death with a hockey stick, killed her and the baby, and then they threw the body over the cliff? Irving? Hello? Can you hear me? I'm on the mezzanine, and it's a nightmare. There are mannequins everywhere. They're set up like in a scene. There's one with a hockey stick. Wait, what the fuck? That's my stick! If you're listening to me, whoever set up this representation, I, I think they want to tell me that Rachel was killed? But why my hockey stick? Hello? Hello? Oh god, why isn't he answering? Irving, I swear I'm not kidding. This is a huge deal. If you can hear me, it's time to make that phone call. I don't know if Irving was real or not. I don't like this at all. Where are you, Nicole? It's about time. Did you hear my messages? How many doors have you opened, Nicole? How many are still missing? What doors are you talking about? Keep going. Hello? Hello, Irving? I think Nicole killed Rachel and they covered it up. What's hiding behind second floor sealed door? Wait, is there another door in there? Oh, wait, no. Now we go up to the second floor. the door open now is this some representation of her shattered psyche of course it is okay these cables don't mean nothing right oh Jesus what is this transmissions Car engine. That's her car. Stick, wood, cables, mount outside. What? Montana weather. Winds. Hello? I imagine you found my room. What? What does all this mean? That's a question I've asked myself many times. What does all this mean, Irving? How far do you want to push yourself? How much can you take? What? Every memory. Painstakingly gathered, every reconstructed piece, every little element retrieved from the dark. A photo, a hairband, a lipstick. It means remembering, Rachel. That's what all this means. I didn't choose this path. I had to do it. 
What did you do, Irving? These walls ooze with memories. The memories get into the walls. Under the floorboard, they creep into the crawl spaces. You're not with FEMA. You, Jenkins, you, you never talked to him. Your boss, the phone call, all those weird events. You were behind all of them. Someone had to bring the last piece of the memory puzzle here. The most important one. You. Me? I... I... Your father wanted to keep you out of it. I convinced him that only you could resolve the equation, as he called it. I... don't understand. How could you? Over the last few days, you got a little taste of what it means to dig around in the past. Hunting for memories that scratched away behind every wall in the night. I... We did it for years, day after day after day. All lies. I have nothing against lies. I grew up around lies. But now it's time for the truth to come out, finally. Who are you, really? I want to tell you a story. There was an invisible boy. Like everyone, he just wanted to run on the grass, ride a bike, swim in the lake in summer. But his father... Oh, his father had other plans for his soul. In his dark world made of silence and prayer, there shone only one star. His... wonderful sister. A heavenly creature that spent hours telling him fairy tales in secret. She who told him what a free and strong man he would become one day. Rachel? She was like that. Free and strong. At the time, I didn't understand her dyslexia. Or what retard meant. That's what they called her at school. But I could hear her cry at night. I wanted to protect her, but I couldn't. One day, that beautiful, luminous creature met someone, a human being that saw her for real. My dad. Yes. And I was the invisible witness of what happened. A love, simply a love. Nothing more, nothing less. But that love was too much, and it would be punished. Who paid for this love, Nicole? Rachel. Rachel was your sister. Yeah, no kidding. Now I remember you. You were too caught up with your hatred for Rachel to notice the innocent little kid that sometimes tagged along. I didn't hate your sister. I was just jealous. Doesn't matter. Those days are over. How could I have forgotten you? I was raised to be forgotten. What do you want from me? The day my sister paid with her life for her love, we all died. We make up the history of the Timberline. It was a tragedy. But you... We all got frozen there. I think he's behind this moment. door. In that confined horizon of events. As you'll understand. Let me open. As you've already begun to understand. I want to know what you want from me. You have to keep going to get to where I wasn't able to go. You will be the new witness. You owe it to us. And you owe it to her. Oh, 
Oh, sure, why not? <clears throat> I like the lights. Very romantic. A few years have passed since I last used this old tape recorder. I think you were in elementary school. I imagine a testament should start in a poised manner. My dear Nicole, my favorite daughter, etc., etc. Poised, weighty, serious, irrevocable. I prefer asking you how you are. How are you, Nikki? You're probably tired. I can imagine. At this point of your journey, the marks and voices of this old hotel will have already whispered all their secrets. You've always been good at solving puzzles. In this, you surely resemble Claire? more your mother than me. Irving has always been convinced that you, only you, could surmount the fear and suffering that exuded from these hallways. We tried. We waited. We were terrified. We studied. We listened. We listened to her. All the love in the world wasn't enough to decipher those muted vowels, those wide open eyes, those tears of light. In your time and space, in the here and now, I will no longer be with you. But it doesn't matter, trust me, it doesn't. I have a new theory, Nikki. Love is and remains. In the walls that keep up this hotel. Who are you talking about? Breathe. And sometimes it hates. It hates those who didn't allow it, those who cast it aside with indifference, and those who can't recognize it. Stars still emanate their light even after collapsing, right? There's a lot of light here. There's light in death. I want to free myself of all this darkness. I can no longer see the stars. I'm tired of surviving in this limbo. So, how are you, Nikki? I'm good. I will be good. Figure out what Rachel was saying, Nikki. She's here. Oh, hell no. Murderer. Yeah, the ghost wrote that. I was standing right next to it when it happened. Okay, yeah, so this place really is haunted. of Egypt or the science of the soul and the stars. Okay. Well, I got Claire's key. Rachel says I'm a murderer. I think I might have beat her to death with the hockey stick and they covered it up. Rotate through my inventory. I hope that that key is the car key that went missing. Only bad things now. Bye. Leonard was a very special man. His soul was big enough to love both you and Rachel. 
I knew my father's soul better than anyone. You were just a jealous kid. Don't you dare try to make me feel guilty. You don't... I just want you to get to the truth. So why didn't you tell me about the truth? Tell who? The Nicole who thought eating beans was the worst tragedy and couldn't wait to finish this business and run away, forgetting everything all over again? You don't know anything about what my mother and I went through. But you're different to when you got here. Now you can discover the truth, a truth that otherwise would have destroyed you. I didn't lie to you. I protected you. Listen, I'm sorry about Rachel. I hated her, and I hated my father, but I never wanted it to end like that. I understand your pain, maybe better than anyone. Betrayal, shame, death. My family was destroyed, just like yours. How much longer does this pain have to last? It'll be over soon. What else is there to know? You want the truth. Well, I can't give it to you. I've already given you everything I could. Now you have to tie the pieces together. What does that mean? Your father always said we are the sum of the people we take with us, and you abandoned these people. Here, in this place. Enough riddles, Irving. I'm tired. Me, too. You're the only one who can give a finale to this story. It's time you open the last door. Well, the car key said Claire, which is her mom's name. Her mom's car is here, and it looks like I can open the trunk. Accurate. Well, what was in it? Do lists. What's in this blanket? Wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it. What? We should probably wash it. What is it? Wild. Yes. But it looks like it's covered in blood. That's the locker room. That goes to the church. Laundry. Washing machines, yep. We just need one. Oh. <clears throat> That's blood. That is a lot of blood. The retainer. That's what that thing was burning in the field of snow in that dream. Oh God, how could I have forgotten? I, I saw everything. I was there. All the pieces were in front of my eyes. A kid's eyes. It was the same night as the hockey game in Missoula. Reverend Foster was so busy with the preparations of the meals for the giving to the poor at the Timberline Church. And my mother, Claire, said that we would get back from the game in time for the distribution. She convinced my father to help the Reverend, and he'd come with his whole family, you and Rachel. Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. I couldn't find my stick. I panicked and I went down to the garage. Claire was there, red in the face. Her look. Her look? It was just a fleeting feeling. That's why I erased it from my memory. I had to erase it, understand? What was in her look? It just wasn't her. It was like a... A frightful creature. A, a disturbed, dangerous animal. I've never seen her like that before or after. Not even on her deathbed. 
And then she put her hands on her hips, exhausted. She smiled. And there she was again, my mom. I thought it must have just been the impression of a moment. I had the finals against Cold Springs High awaiting me. I climbed in the car, throwing my bag into the back seat. My hockey stick was there. Claire said she'd cleaned Her mom it. killed Rachel. She cleaned it. Go on. No. I I don't. Go on. We We got there on time and I played. Best game of my life. And the last. Claire was on the bleachers encouraging me and cheering. And then I lost sight of her. For two whole periods, I think. And later, when I asked, she said she'd moved because Marty O'Donagall's father was getting on her nerves. But it wasn't true. Just enough time to go back to the car. Don't say it. Irving, don't say it. Don't say a thing. I... I don't... I traveled all the way with Rachel's body and the baby she carried inside of her in the trunk rolled in the blanket. God, oh my God. She killed Rachel. Thank you, Nikki. Good voice acting. You've had your revenge. I hope all this gives you the peace you were looking for. I wanted you to help me uncover the truth. You're saying you didn't know that Claire... I was only a kid. Plus, she... Never wanted me to get to the bottom of it. Rachel is is here. You know, I I think she's still protecting me. But I'm grown up now. Now can all be reunited at last. What? Wait, where are you going? Listen, we can work things out. What happened is terrible, but all the main players in this story are dead. Get it? Dead. We are still alive. We're alive. Me. You. We, we didn't do anything. That's exactly what we did wrong, Nicole. We didn't do anything. It's beautiful here. Rachel told me about it so many times, but <laughs> I never thought it was so beautiful. What? Irving, where are you? It's quite as far as the eye can see, beyond the mountains. He's freezing you, to death. You left the hotel? But it's too cold. You'll, you'll die out there. Irving, please. I've lived in the dark for years. You freed me. And now I can finally rest in the light. I can and go back to her. Don't don't go. You you can't. Don't leave me too. We have our drink. It's not a goodbye, my tough, pragmatic, stubborn Nikki. We'll meet again. In another time. Beyond this horizon of events, everything is. Irving? Irving? The rest is silence. I, I don't want to stay alone here. I. I. Everything seems to be becoming dark. I'm scared. I'm... Ah, who's there? 
Rachel? Is that you? And then... Oh, that's not a butterfly, it's a retainer. What the heck? Can't answer the phone. Oh, there it is. Yes? It's always me, Jenkins, the attorney. Finally, I can get through. You don't know how many times I tried. I can't hear you. The connection's bad. How are you? I was really worried about the storm. I'm good. Great. I'm glad. You're sure you... Listen, I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. What? Damned interference. I didn't catch it. What do you say? I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. You've been really nice. Your job is done. Thanks. I see. Well, you're the owner, and you got every right to decide. But maybe we should talk about it in person. I want to understand. But this kind of decision... I'm back home, and I have to stay here forever. What are you doing, Nicole? Oh, there's a pipe in the window! Oh, no! Oh. You know, Mom, I was thinking about going to the lake. Remember where we went with Uncle John last year? Daddy and I started talking about the stars. You can't see them during the day. But they're always there. Oh. You feel like it? I would so like it. And we can have dinner at Doc Smith's diner on the bank. Rachel and Irving could come with us? What do you think? It would be so nice to be all together. Mom, Dad, it would be so nice. I don't want to use, I want to get out. Wait, wait, I did all that you asked me. Please. Anger shouldn't rule our life. You said that. I'm scared. No, then don't do it. I have no options. You. I. Don't want to die. Dark. <coughs> I can't see the light. <coughs> Turn off. <coughs> Open the door. back the timberline to its fortune together we will be happy again all together yes <clears throat> like a whole family <gasps> no more anger just love right so that was the suicide of Rachel Foster I Hope you enjoyed the game as much as I did. I got chills and little moments, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys thought. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you have a comment, leave it in the comments. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.